First off, what is it? How you doing? Can you state your name? Pichala Yoga Stucky. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. What what's your Instagram name? Miss Ventures. Oh. I'm your boy, uh, Mr. Twenty West. I'll be doing this uh, interview. Have we started? Yes, we are. This, oh, this is totally why is it still at the It's nice. It's nice to meet you. Okay. I have a whole opposite. It's okay. It's okay. It's, okay. it's pretty, um, uh, you know, it's impromptu. Uh, my people called your people, and uh, we really, we're just going with the flow. All right? Okay. All right. So. Staying, you know, cool with uh, uh, this Georgia heat. Yes, shout out to the pop sipper that you got. Uh, what's that shirt you, you're rocking? I am wearing okay. Take Flight. Because when I first got here mm -hmm. to oh, Georgia, yoga. Okay. I went to the awesome store named Moto Style, their grand opening. Shout out to TK. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to support. Um, and I, hopefully, I should probably talk a little louder because I've had interviews and I had to. Make sure the person was talking about it, and I already talked quite so. Okay, I mean, my audio guy, uh, which is also me, <laughs> is pretty good at what he does. Okay. So, <laughs> if you, I mean, if you can just, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with, as long as you're not whispering. Um, I'm known to whisper. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, so, the whole reason that I wanted to bring this interview into fruition, and the reason my people contact your people, because mm -hmm. we have the same people, mm -hmm. is because, uh, I felt like it, it, it needed to be done. I see that you had counseled your yoga and paint. Uh, I definitely had that scheduled. Okay, um, I want you to be aware of this interview. It's very hard hitting questions that I didn't write down anywhere that I'm okay. coming up with myself. Okay. Okay, this is for the viewers at home. Hi, viewers. Um, so, my first question is why did you counsel your paint and yoga today? Well, my art and motion. Art and motion, yoga and paint. Uh, I have been working with TK at Motor Style. Uh, at the beginning of the year, we like plan out different events throughout the year, and then seeing that I do the free yoga once a month at her shop, I was like, oh, well, it'll be awesome to have like this motion or art and motion event. It initially wasn't the yoga and paint. But because, you know, time constraints and things of that nature, uh, I changed it to yoga and paint within the last month and a half. I did my promotion. Mm -hmm. And uh, everyone, of course, was like, oh, that sounds like a great idea and things of that nature. And you have all these different other events that other people are doing, similar events throughout Atlanta. And uh, the folks that, not necessarily the folks, but, you know, you assume that people think it's a great idea, hopefully they'll either attend or they will let other folks know that they may know attend the event and I, I promote it regularly like on a daily basis on Instagram, uh, on a regular basis on Facebook and on my web page, yogini.com and I got one, one RSVP on Eventbrite. And it was a paid event, so I'm not sure if having that it was a paid event, people didn't want to pay uh, for an event. Uh, seeing that uh, sip and paint events are typically $20 to $25, people are going all the time. And I did have another event back in May, but I had to go back home. So someone else took the, they did their structure for the class. So. Um, and, and I mean, like, I, I really want to touch in on the fact that you uh, you put up uh, a showing, and uh, you you want you put up an event, and you wanted people to come through and support. And the thing about it, which uh, really just so outstanding to me, is because you have other events that you put on on the regular, and it's almost the same type of thing. Um, where you have people just so excited to come and yet no one show ever up. shows. Yeah. And and what what do you think? Why do you think that this has happened? I'm not really sure. Um, today is officially the like 
one year mark that since I like legitly touched down in Georgia for a visit, make sure, hey, is this a place I would like to possibly move to? Uh, and then, so technically I haven't been in the state or in the city for a year yet, but even with that being said, um, I'm not sure if maybe I'm not known enough. Um, and I feel like I, I have enough people that theoretically support me, but realistically don't. I mean, like, how, how do you feel like maybe, I mean, with every small thing, it, it has to start from somewhere, right? This is true. And um, I know it kind of gets frustrated, it gets frustrated, you know, uh, with you putting on such great events and some of them for it, this one happened to be the first one to actually, you put value on it and it still was the same type of thing. So what I did recently is I, I try to get a group of people, creative people on Instagram to help promote their things and other people's things. I mean, what what is another way you think you can get something going? Not really sure. Okay. <laughs> because um, before moving here, I did join a uh, different, like as far as the community of bike, bike life, I did join some different communities uh, before coming down here. So I did promote them there. And uh, I mean, you would get folks who, like as far as the free moto and yoga. Oh, that seems so cool! I'd love to come. Um, or uh, I'm not able to make it this time, but or I live really far, so I would love to come out and support. But it's a little too far. So I, I think when when people say that um, one of the excuses that I ever uh, that I hear uh, a lot is. Man, I just don't know anybody. Yeah, I get really nervous. I mean, anytime that I go to any event, because uh, I've been invited to go to a motorcycle club, and the reason that I, I wasn't able to attend is mostly work, but also in certain atmospheres I feel uncomfortable. I mean, I don't know like how do how does your event kind of differ from other people's events. I'm not sure if maybe because I'm primarily promoting in the world of bike life. If people are like, uh, I don't wanna like yoga's for girls or uh, I'm not uh, flexible enough to do yoga. Um, and like yoga's for anyone, so Yeah. So like how long have you been doing this yoga? Myself I've been doing it since twenty fourteen. So I started my doctoral program that year and I'm like, you know what, I need to find something to keep me mentally grounded. So I, and then Instagram, I started, I think my page, the end of 2013, beginning of 2014. And then by summer I had uh, started seeing a lot of like Instagram challenges and I'm like, oh, I can do that pose. I can do like plank and downward dog. Or that seems a little um, challenging, but it is a yoga challenge, so uh, I would like you know, to try it out. And I got hooked. And I'm like, yeah, this would be an awesome way to uh, keep myself mentally grounded while you know attending school online. And it's been very helpful. So yeah. So you think? I mean, the yoga really keeps you grounded. Yes. Which is the reason why the motor and yoga came to fruition when I came down here and went to the grand opening. Mm -hmm. And for me, literally, when I got down here before the grand opening, I literally was here maybe all of two days in the state of Georgia. I had initially just moved here, didn't know anyone, my white close friend that I've known since elementary. She just so happened to be here the same week with her husband for flight school. And her and her husband came with me, so I had that one person. And of course, you were at work, so I was like, I would love to go. <laughs> I would love to go to this awesome event. Um, TK seemed really cool with what I was seeing on Instagram. And then she's like, okay, I got my license. Um, I would like to try to 
see like who is out here in these streets uh, as far as bike life and things of that nature and uh, I went to go support someone, a small business, uh, a female business, a business of color. So I'm like, that's three things right there. I'm like a female entrepreneur that started her own business and it's in the area that I enjoy uh, being a part of, bike life. So I went and from there, uh, I think we had finally went up there. I had showed you a shop because I had bought some stuff. And like I said, this was one of the items that I purchased uh, with Take Flight, support another small local business. And that's my thing. I enjoy supporting people and especially small businesses. And regardless of ethnicity, if it's a small business and it's someone that's really passionate about what they want to put out to the community, I have no problem supporting them. So that is me. I, I'm always supporting, especially on Instagram, is a ton of different events that goes on uh, within bike life, yoga, just in life in general. And as you mentioned, uh, you made your comment, like, I would love if as a group of folks on Instagram, we could support one another. That's what I do on a regular. I, if I see something going on, especially with the storyline, it's cool. You can totally do your promotion and you don't have to, like, uh, clog up your own page, but you can still make sure that person is being promoted. Like, hey, go check out this person. Hey, um, this event is going on. Oh, there's a mob ride, or not a mob ride, but it's a ride that's coming up. Go support them. Um, this person is having an art event. Go support them. I'm constantly supporting folks. I feel like maybe it's me as far as they don't know who I am. So why support this person? I don't know. Uh, even through association, like, okay, yeah, it's a modal style, but I still don't know who this person is, so I'm, I'm not going to take the time to get a chance to know this person, mm -hmm. or I don't have time, or if it's not something that I have an interest in. So, I do plan to continue to do different events. Will it be at modal style? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe having to branch out on my own as far as really going hard with my all right yeah business bit all right we're back for the second half of this interview uh mr tony west don't go to bike all right so we uh touched on some of the frustrations of uh putting on an event and it's just not going right and how you support others and they just seem not to like support you um i, I, I would say that okay okay i mean because there are folks that uh I do support and they, you know, uh, either make their comments on the page or they try to send someone else out or they'll repost. I'm really promoting myself on my Instagram, Ms. Adventures. Uh, I have my YouTube, brown.eyes.yogini. And like just really, I guess, I mean with school and it's difficult trying to juggle school, work, all the different things of uh, my art projects, uh, my yoga, just life in general. So just trying to have a, a good balance is difficult. But I do make sure to take time and put those efforts in, like I said, to promote myself and promote others. And it, it just, so many words, it sucks to not have the back and like when I first started I had an awesome class I said of course um, it just continued to bundle with the most two recent classes that I taught it was just myself you and the owner TK so uh, that was discouraging and I guess seeing us at a bike shop and the weather is getting better uh, folks are figuring like I don't want to go spend time doing our yoga or going to a paint class. Even though the yoga is free and this event was paid, it's paid because first off, I'm not, it's an art event. So you're getting the yoga as a, a part of the mindfulness. And then you're getting uh, the painting event, which it was including the canvas and the art equipment, which will be at any typical 
sip and paint. There's Vince out here that's fifty dollars at a bar for just your canvas and paint, and in addition, you have to still purchase whatever food and drinks of that nature. So, but I think I don't know if maybe because it's a known event, a known artist, they'll support that. And I just feel that as a community, we need to continue to support or improve our promoting of and helping one another. Um, I'll continue to build my brand and I'll go from there. I do feel discouraged, but um, I'm probably going hiatus as far as like going and doing different events at Motosol for right now and then just focus working on how can I promote myself to be my own lady boss, entrepreneur, Jacqueline the Vaughn Trades and go from there. So this is not the last of me, but for right now I am gonna probably take a little break so I can come back strong. Okay. Alright, so you know it's Mr. Tony West. And uh, this is Mr. Tony West's uh, new and approved interview uh, vlog. I mean, it's not even really a vlog. It's just like I got this whole Dateline thing. I feel like everybody needs to have their own interview. So, with this being said, you would mark the first, well, yes, the first person that I've ever interviewed with this here camera. Uh, you know, I, I just want you to stay positive and continue to crush the game. I mean... You have my support, and you know that. Thank you. Love and light. It's Yoga the Biker, Mr. Tony West, interview person. Peace.